Hi, I'm uh, Chagai, CEO of Raycatch. Raycatch is uh, Solar Insights. So before we dive into what Raycatch is, let's make sure that everybody really understands what's happening in the solar industry in the past few years. Well, we see on the left the price of uh, PV models starting at 100, more than $100 back in the 1970s. And today are less than 50 cents. It's actually less than what's written down. And in the meantime, the solar installation, the PV installation, which started at two megawatts a year back in 1970s, are today reaching 64 gigawatts in 2015. So there's more than 550 billion dollars of solar assets, which revenue 60 billion dollars a year. At the same time, due to the 80% leverage in, these, uh, in this market, there's every small increase in margin has a large impact in the IRR of the investor. So that's a key thing to remember. At the same time that the prices are decreasing, the operational cost is actually staying the same, if not even increasing, as the, as the prices of the hardware is decreasing. So the problem is the problem that we're attacking at the moment is the plant management tools. The, optimi the plant management tools are manual and don't enable the operators or the, owner or the owners to get a marginal optimization. Why is that done? All the operations in the monitoring and the existing monitoring solution have a static threshold that they set in order to find what exactly the problem is. So whenever, whenever, every time that someone started with it, they put the threshold at 1%. Of course, that's what everybody would do. Then the next day, a, a cloud would come and rise over only half of the PV plant, and the alarm would go off. The operational guy would go to the plant, scratch his head for a few days, and then come back to the, to the owner and tell him everything is okay and he turned the threshold up to 3%. The same thing happened, and today, all the monitoring solution and all the owners and operators are working with a 10 to 15% ambiguity within the data that comes from the solar plant. A second problem is once they do decide and understand that there is a problem in the plant, it's really hard and difficult to understand the root cause of the problem within the plant based on the data itself. So the operational guy needs to go to the plant start to find out what the problem is, and then attend it. What's our solution? Our solution is Deep Solar. What's Deep Solar? It's an artificial intelligence-based monitoring solution that automatically diagnoses the data that comes from the PV plant, from the existing PV monitoring solution, crunches it, and gives action items to the operational or to the owners in terms of what needs to be done in order to optimize the yield, the income, from the PV plant itself. So we do automatic diagnostic. We understand what the problem is. We do predictive optimization. So we understand where exactly is it and what needs to be done in order to optimize the yield or the income of that specific uh, problem. And of course, to quantify it with a case, with a business, with a cost-effective uh, uh, model behind of it to make sure that only the problems that needs to be attended would be attended and not other problems that don't do. What kind of insights are we doing and are we dealing with? Well, today we're able to understand how much or what portion of the panels within the plant, by reading only the data, are out of warranty. In the panel, while the Chinese manufacturer is still alive, the owner should claim the warranty and, and, uh, and, and fix those specific panels. Maintenance works. In Israel, we have a lot of dust. So we have a dust meter that tells the owner how much dust is on the panels themselves and when and if they need to be cleaned. Today, this is done six or eight times a year. Yeah, we have a lot of dust in Israel. And, uh, and it's done just by the calendar and without any smart uh, thinking behind of it. Here in Europe, you have a lot of grass, a lot of grass that's coming up from the ground and, uh, and maybe something else. And, uh, and it's covering the, the panels and it needs to be cut it down. And it's also down once or twice a year just because it's on the calendar and not something uh, smart behind of it. We also look into the inverter data and we find some things there. The MPPT tracking algorithm might be off or needs to be updated. And we check that and we have more than 100 things or, uh, or libraries that we want to see and we want to, to pursue. And that's what we're doing. The insights that we're seeing is at least 
for each PV installation that we're working on, and work on a few, there's more than 3% of revenue of action items that would increase by 3% the revenue of that specific plant. Uh, plant. Of course, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of money that's uh, sitting out there. And we can also reduce the O&M cost because the operator will know exactly what's wrong, exactly what needs to be done, where, it has to, where, it would, it, where it's done, and he could bring whatever he needs with him without wasting a lot of time. B the two of them, as of today, have a lot of impact and a lot of money. And of course, as we said, because of the leverage, the impact for the investor is even higher uh, in terms of IRR. So what's our integration? Today we just tap into the existing monitoring solution. We don't install any new hardware. We don't need to go to see the plant. We don't need to feel it. We just sit in our offices in Tel Aviv. We run it on Amazon, and the, assist, the algorithms tell us what exactly needs to be done. Um, no hardware again. The technology, well, basically what we do, the data that comes, as I said, there's a lot of noise within the data. The most significant thing we do is we clean the data. We take out all the noise and we only keep the signals. Once we get the signals, we run our algorithm on them. We're able to separate what's the dust, what's the broken panel, what's the internal resistance within the panel that's lowering down. We compare apples to apples and we give insights of what needs to be done, how and when. Case study, well, in June 2016, not a long time ago, we started with our POC, or MVP. Uh, one of our customers gave us a plant of 10 megawatts that he thought was actually good. We found out that 15% of his panels were under warranty, and he should, they should warranty claim them, and now they're in the process of warranty claim. It represents an increase of the insights that we found of more than $125,000 a year, while the cost is a fraction of that, and of course it's software, it could be even lower if needed. The status, we have initial revenue. We're work, we have a working MVP on 40 megawatts. We started the MVP in June. Um, we have three clients that represents more than 1.5 gigawatts that we're working at what, right now in pilot stage. And we're in negotiation with three world-class utilities that have a lot more than that. Okay, Jan is uh, yelling at me, so I'll uh, continue. The business model is uh, uh, we have a SaaS, so it's uh, $250 per megawatt per month or a yearly plan, whatever. It's a software. We can play with it and, uh, and cheat with it. Our team, our team is a lot of uh, smart people. I'm the least, the least smart. They have, we have more than 45 patents within uh, uh, the, the team, uh, all in image processing and algorithms. Uh, we have successful entrepreneurs that did some exit and IPOs uh, to bigger companies. Uh, we've been funded in 2015. The first line of code was written in November. We have initial uh, revenue. One of our seed investors is also a strategic investor. Uh, when we see him as a design partner, he's a utility scale uh, PV owner. Um, sorry, Jan. I'll click in. No more slides. No more slides. Thank you very much. <laughs>